Hi, Daniel Paluzic with the VMware Cloud Provider Program. And I'm Rebecca Fitzhugh with Rubrik. And we're here today to talk about some of our great uh, uh, integration with vCloud Director. So as you may know, VCD is really transforming into this services platform. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out a conceptual view of what vCloud Director looks like today. So if I add in our context switching menu, you have seen a lot of different plugins like our VROPS integration, availability. And now today, we're going to be talking about Rubrik. So I'm going to hand it off to uh, Rebecca, and she's going to walk us through an intro of Rubrik and what we're doing so special uh, with uh, the vCloud Director UI. Absolutely. So thanks, Daniel. Uh, so we're very excited about this uh, because this is really empowering our tenants to be able to self-service, right? So that's, that's right. a little bit different than what we've been offering. We've had vCloud support for a couple of versions now. Uh, so let's kind of take it back, though. With Rubrik, right, so I'm going to abbreviate this here, RBK, uh, what we do is we protect and manage your data, right, from cradle to grave. And so we do that with the construct of an SLA domain, right? So I'm draw out your, the SLA domain. And our SLA domain is really defined by a couple of main constructs. It's going to be A, how frequently should we be protecting your data? B, how long should we retain that data? And then C, whether we want to archive that off of the rubric cluster, right? And that's going to be a part of that retention policy. And all of that's going to be done for you in an automated fashion, which is nice. Yes. Right? So, we have had vCloud Director support for a couple of versions, and we extend that same exact functionality. You can protect your vApps, right? And you can even apply this at like an org VDC level. But what we haven't had is the ability for a tenant to do self-service. That's right. And the more, most important thing here is we're going to provide it in a scalable and secure manner where providers can now manage it to specific tenants, but also provide this as a value-added service. Absolutely. Great. Cool. So what we can do, all right, so now whenever you are in vCloud Director and you're using that UI, you're going to be able to use our rubric extensibility framework, right, that's uh, delivered in the form of a plugin to be able to basically get all the cool stuff, right? So not only are you able to take that SLA domain and apply it to your different vApps and other workloads, you're also going to be able to uh, take on-demand snapshots. Like, hey, I'm about to do maintenance. Hey, I'm about to make a change. Let's take a snap just in case, right? That's nice to not have to call a provider to do that. Absolutely. So, Rebecca, within the plugin, how about restore capabilities? What does that show up as inside of vCloud Director? That's a great question. So, we have a couple of different restore functionality uh, that is available to you. You can do something called an export, which kind of think of this as like a traditional recovery, right? We're doing a full-on export of the data back to whatever that storage may be, right? Okay. And then instantiating that workload from there. And then we also have the ability to do an instant recovery. Right, okay. So that is a little bit more fun. It's a little bit faster. And what we're going to be doing is using Rubrik as basically temporary storage. Hmm. And so we're going to be able to instantiate your workloads very, very quickly back into that org and recover, and then simply just storage and motion it back. Great. Excellent. Yeah. All right. But we forgot something very important. Oh, uh, what's that? File level recovery. <laughs> so we are also able to do file level recovery beyond just the vApp itself um, through our plugin. Excellent. All right. So why don't we talk about how do we get started within vCloud Director and see uh, how does the audience actually go through this. Sure. So first things first is uh, you'll have to get our VCD extend ext. Let me draw this out. SDK. Now this is on our GitHub page. What this allows you to do is actually build out a framework, but also in integrate the lifecycle management plugin inside of vCloud Director. Now, this lifecycle management plugin allows you to control accessibility to all different plugins within vCloud Director. So if a provider wants to share out the rubric plugin or availability or whatever it may be inside of vCloud Director, this is how it's managed on that. So once we get the LCM plugin actually built into this, then we can actually add in and import the rubric plugin, and now you're rocking and rolling for integrating into your existing rubric infrastructure. Uh, for more information, go to cloudsolutions.vmware.com. And thank you. Yeah, and uh, for you to acquire the rubric plugin, go to build.rubric.com. Thanks.